everyone is going welcome back to daily stand up we're outside in this edition of uh programming all right so this is my rust or one of my rust projects and i want to test um basically this api that we have stood up using axum this time um in the last one i used um uh not axum <laughs> we'll go to and see what i used i used um where is it now? Is that in this one or is that string or closed? I'm just checking to see where I made my API. Oh my goodness. I have it in. Oh, it's in the sub project, right? Uh, okay, I'm using Actix Web. And I read um, a write up to try to use. Um, Axum, so that's what I'm gonna try to use. And I pulled some code um, from like the tutorial to stand up an API. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And it's gonna go ahead and run this uh, server. And one thing I wanna check is, um, just cause I'm curious, is I wanna check using SIMD, S-I-M-D, so single instruction, multiple data, um, to get hardware acceleration inside my Rust project. So I found um, some code from a book that I read about Rust and it referenced um, some a basic kind of like SIMD uh, code tutorial that you can try. So I got that code and I'm going to try it here and I have Postman running and I'm going to go ahead and hit that endpoint I have. Uh, could not get a response. Socket hang up. Let me see what's going on. Thread panicked at assertion SIMD Okay, well, it performed, <laughs> um, but something happened. You all know what this is here. Thread Tokyo Runtime Worker panicked. Assertion left equals right. What do I have? Assertion left. What's that? That's not any code in this tutorial, I don't think. I wonder if I have something else running. Can I, is it, well, let me do the health check. Yeah, that's fine. Huh. Server started, Rust with Axon, health check. It looks like it's trying to run an old, hold on, I'm going to cancel this. New cargo uh, build. Let's just do a run again. Uh, but I'm going to flag it with release, and then it should build that again, and we should see the, the most performance we get out of this. So, I don't know why the thread panicked. Um, Alright, so server started successfully, it's running on Axum. Let's go ahead back to my health checker, and let's build simple. I don't know if that's the right message, but I'm going to go ahead and run... Yeah, same thread, or same error, but you can see that it did perform the SIMD um, accelerated uh, code here. Let's see, without SMD it took uh, 0.038, with SIMD performance it took 0.01. Um, so obviously it's this is we're looking at you know micro optimizations here but optimizations nonetheless so really what I want to do is I want to kind of branch off from just using just uh, vector uh, just raw vectors and I want to see if I can see what kind of code will let me uh, convert to a vector because like if you ever worked with .NET you should be able to use spans and take advantage of hardware acceleration but I don't know the full advantage of using them in Rust. Um, or SIMD in Rust. So that's what I have to figure out, but I just wanted to run, get this up and running and really just try to see what it did in Rust. Um, you can see that it should be outputting this, and I don't know why it's giving me the old um, message. I wonder, Am I in the right? Uh, yeah, because look at that. If I do the health check... I took, I changed that text. That's really weird. Um, 
Let me cancel this again. I'm in the right directory. Did I sa Oh my goodness. I don't think I saved it. I'm an idiot. Alright, let's run this again. <laughs> Let me run that again in release. And then... Okay. Never mind. I... I don't know how many times you guys ever do that, just not save the file, and then, yeah. Alright, so, this performance is a little different, so, it's kind of neat, uh, it's kind of neat to mess around with. Um, I'll find the repository and I'll link it below from that one book. I think it was, I forget if it was from Code Like a Pro with Rust, or if it was from, um, I think it was from that book. Uh, it was like towards the back, it was like a back section like a back chapter. It was it's kind of like, it was kind of mentioned like low key, like in passing, like using SIMD or SIMD, whatever you want to call it in Rust. Um, but for my next thing, I want to definitely um, try something out in .NET just because I feel a little more confident I can try it in .NET. What I want to do basically is take our uh, GPS data that we're collecting and throw it into uh, a new service that I'm making and I want to see if I can aggregate some of that uh, geolocation data together convert into a vector and then I want to see if I can perform operations on that using hardware acceleration and .NET. Um, I also want to try there's something I, I've been wanting to try so I know if you've ever used RabbitMQ um, there's a concept of okay you can um, you can send a single message or you can batch the messages together uh, to to publish or, or send to your exchange or queue, but I want to see if I can Basically Because batching can be done one thread. I want to see if I can split that off and run like four um, Batch requests in parallel to the same queue and see what kind of performance I can get So basically I want to compare me sending every message I get from my engine uh, Sequentially I want to see if I maybe I can collect however many at a time, split them off into like four to eight different tasks, run them all in parallel, and run them as a batch. So if I have like a connection um, of like 100 messages, I can send them all in parallel. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try that, and I want to see if I can take advantage of some of heart, some hardware acceleration around that too. I think it would be really neat just to squeeze a little more performance out of sending messages uh, and also reading messages from, from, the, from RabbitMQ as well. Um, but I have to code that, so I have to try that. Yeah, it'll be like super experimental, but um, we'll give it a shot. And I have no idea why this uh, panicked. This I don't know. I haven't looked at this uh, in a few weeks. Um, but I don't know. If you want to try it, it's pretty neat. SIMD uh, is is a really, or I should say, hardware acceleration is a really, I think, interesting and potentially underutilized. Um, strategy especially when it comes to like web development or microservices so anyway that's it for today um i'll see you in the next one